Celine, a fiery redhead with hair the color of a dying ember, wasn't your typical princess. Sure, she lived in a shimmering palace woven from moonlight, but her true passion was tinkering with enchanted gadgets, not attending royal balls. One stormy night, a crash echoed through the palace. Celine, ever the rebel, snuck out to investigate. There, amidst the smoking remains of a fallen star, lay a breathtakingly handsome figure with shimmering silver wings. Altair, a fallen star prince from the celestial realm of Lumina. Altair, with his aloof demeanor and constant snide remarks about Celine's barbaric inventions, was the epitome of a brooding prince. Celine, used to courtly flattery, found his arrogance a refreshing change. Their initial clashes were epic, filled with sarcastic banter and accidental magic misfires. Yet, under the crackling energy, a grudging respect bloomed. Celine, with her infectious laughter, chipped away at Altair's icy exterior, while Altair, with his tales of celestial wonders, sparked a yearning for adventure in Celine's heart. The king, ever the pragmatist, saw an opportunity to repair the Stargate and return Altair home. A rare moonstone was needed, guarded by a fearsome griffin in a treacherous mountain pass. The king, conveniently indisposed, declared Selene and Altair would retrieve it, a character-building experience, he called it. Thus began their forced journey. They faced howling blizzards, outwitted mischievous pixies, and battled grumpy cave trolls. Through it all, their bickering softened, replaced by a shared sense of purpose and a growing affection. As they finally reached the Griffin's Lair, a shocking revelation surfaced. The Moonstone wasn't just a key, it was Altair's stolen heart, ripped out by a power-hungry Celestial Council. Returning it would mean his death. Selene, faced with the impossible choice between letting him go and condemning him, did what any self-respecting princess with a streak of rebellion wouldn't. She stole the Moonstone. Back at the palace, Selene confessed everything. The king, surprisingly understanding, revealed a hidden truth. Selene wasn't just a princess. She was a descendant of a long-forgotten lineage with the power to heal celestial beings. With a touch, she channeled the Moonstone's magic, mending Altair's shattered heart. Altair, overwhelmed by her sacrifice and blossoming love, faced his own impossible choice. Stay with Selene or return to Lumina, forever bound to his duty. As the tension hung heavy, a group of Lumina rebels, allies of Altair, arrived. They had overthrown the corrupt council and welcomed Altair back, not as a prince, but as an ambassador to forge an alliance with the Moonbloods. Selene and Altair, hand in hand, embarked on a new adventure, not just as lovers, but as representatives of two realms, ready to write a new chapter in their destinies. Theirs was a love story defying not just social norms, but the very fabric of their worlds, proving that sometimes the greatest stars shine brightest not in the sky, but in the hearts of those who dare to love differently.